The city of Dallas is trying to fight crime by taking on specific or one specific business. The city is calling a Texaco gas station right at Ferguson and Interstate 635 a hub of criminal activity and a public nuisance. The city of Dallas is now suing to try and hold uh, the owner, obviously, of that responsible for crime that happens there. Andrea Lucia is over at City Hall tonight. So business owners, sounds like getting together and fighting back here. Well, they certainly have some complaints about this. Now, the city attorney's office says it tried working with the gas station, but claims the business failed to respond appropriately. It is now asking a judge to force that business to take on escalating crime on its property. Robberies. Oh, they're taking off his clothes, man. And fights are a common occurrence at the Texaco gas station on the corner of 635 and Ferguson. There's been active aggravated assaults. There's been attempted carjackings in our view. Adriel Turner manages security at the Meadows at Ferguson apartment complex next door and captures some of the crime on camera. But he says there's only so much businesses can do. He and his team say they call 911 about four times a day. There's been little to no response and they use those statistics against the owner himself. The city's lawsuit references 36 crimes at the gas station in the past year, which it calls a hub for drug use and violent crime. The owner, it claims, tolerates the habitual criminal activity and has failed to make reasonable attempts to abate the activity. The manager of the gas station disagrees, telling us over the phone he's hired private security, regularly reports crimes, provides police access to surveillance video, and even trimmed back bushes to improve visibility. It is their job to respond to calls for help. The owner of the apartment complex says he's done his part too, evicting troublesome tenants. But he says police, not property owners, should be the ones tackling crime. Where is the tax money going that should be going to police? Now, the gas station manager says it has documented 96 calls to 911 that it has made in the last three months and says it now plans to counter sue the city for its lack of response. The city attorney's office says the city has filed similar lawsuits against two neighboring businesses in that same area. It also said Dallas police will be increasing patrols and conducting some additional operations in the coming days. Reporting live from Dallas City Hall, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea.